For this video we're going to take a look at the, the latest imager software for Raspberry Pi which is version 1.85. I had some uh, issues with the older version and I found a workaround but it looks like they've fixed a lot of the bugs uh, for this version. I have a new Raspberry Pi 02W which has a 64-bit operating system so I'm going to in install that onto the SD card. So the first thing I've got to do is format my SD card and if you use the Windows formatter you'll you'll have some, some issues if you've already put a, an image on there for Raspberry Pi because it partitions it. So we need to use a program called SD formatter. So when I put my card in here I can I can see this. There's all sorts of alarms going off in the background. You can, see the partitions but if we just do a full format it's a 32 gig card I've got so I will format this that's ready and, and the way to, to check that it's worked if you go to um, Explorer what you should see on Explorer is just one drive rather than it being two drive letters with the partition on there for, for the Raspberry Pi. So it's formatted it, it's now ready to, to go. So the first thing we do, need to do is choose a device and this is where it's a little bit better. So you can see here my Raspberry Pi 2W. It defaults to the full desktop environment. I need my, my device to boot up a little bit quicker than what it does for a desktop environment. So I'm gonna choose Raspberry Pi, different um, operating system. And then I can see here, I don't want 32 bit because I'm going to have a 64 bit version. There's the desktop. If I just scroll down with no desktop, 64 bit light, that's the operating system we're going to go for. Choose my storage location. So there's my E drive. And now I just need to just edit my settings. And, and this is important that you do this because the first time it boots up, if you don't do this, you'll have to plug in a, a screen and go in and do the configuration. So we go to edit settings. First thing you need to do is set your password, and this is your login password for your Debian operating system or your Bullseye operating system. So Pi and then the password, and then configure it to, to connect to your, your network, your home Wi-Fi network. And in this instance, I, the Raspberry Pi 0W2 doesn't have an Ethernet port. Set it up here. And it's really important under services, I enabled my uh, SSH um, with password uh, authentication. So if I do that, the first time I log in, uh, it should be on my home network as House Joy. So I can use Putty to find House Joy. And then when I log in, I, I just type in this username and password. Under options, I just leave these all ticked so I know when it's finished and it enables telemetry. Click save and then when you click yes it will start to produce that image onto the SD card. So we can see now that it's finished creating the device. There was all sorts of problems on the older version when I tried to do it this way and I had to download the image and, and put it on manually um, but now it seems to be linking to, to the library and the cloud quite nicely. So I've created the image, the next step is just to put it into my Raspberry Pi and um, check that it's working. I've inserted the SD card into my Raspberry Pi, connected some power, and now I'm ready to use Putty. It's asking for my login. My username was Pi. Again, this is what I set when I was creating the image. I'm not telling you what the password is. I type that in now. I'm now connected and I can start to perform my First two steps, which is really important. I've, I've sort of got uh, like a default image on there. So the first two things you should do when you put a new image onto to your Raspberry Pi or any device is, first of all, um, do an update. So sudo apt update. So that's updated all the packages. What I need to do now is to install those updates. So sudo apt and then upgrade. 
you know, depending on how many um, packages that it's found during the update procedure, this could take anywhere up to, to 20 minutes. But um, just be patient with it. I will ask you a few times whether you want to install the, the upgrades. Here's, here's an example. Now it's going to go and install all of the upgrades. And we're ready to start installing our other programs onto this Raspberry Pi. There you have it, a look at the Raspberry Pi Imager 1.85. Hope that was useful for you. Um, a lot of the bugs have been fixed from when I previously didn't, done these videos. As per usual, thanks for listening. Hope to see you again soon.